Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Jerry. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai m a s a m a n curry. This recipe we use a lot the herb and all the spice. So it's everything is good for your body. Today we're using a lot of herb, but no worry. I will put everything, every ingredient inside my website. So go check on the website. And now I separate some herb that I gonna uh, use just for the whole thing. So I separate them. And for this, I gonna grind them. Okay. And now I gonna grind all this herb, turn to be the powder. But for the cardamom seed, you can remove the shell. You can remove all the shell, and you just gonna use a just a seed inside here. This will give you really good uh, fragrance inside here. And now I finished g u i d i n g our herb and spice, and now we ready to go to the next step. First, I gonna add a little bit of coconut oil. About two tablespoon, and next as our red curry. Okay, stir this red curry until the oil change the color and all the f i n g e r i n coming out from the curry. Okay, and now our red curry already. It give you so so the smell. And now time to add our spice and herb. Put them all. Okay. Continue stir this until all the herb and spice and mix it well together. Okay, now when all curry and all herb and spice mix it together, as a coconut and continue mix them. Okay, and now continue mix our curry and all herb and spice and coconut milk. Mix them all well together. Okay, and now our coconut milk and the curry already mix it well together. All the oil is separate. And now I'm gonna start asking our chicken. Use the chicken thigh, and you can use beef if you like, or you can use lamb. You can use any kind of your favorite meat. So now I'm gonna add. So I have the small pan. I'm gonna add three pieces at a time and allow them to cook inside the oil, coconut, coconut milk, and all the curry to sear a little bit a chicken. Okay, and next, now you allow the chicken to sear inside the coconut milk and the curry. Now we ready to move into the pot. Okay, move your chicken into the pot. All right, and then I'm gonna do the second bath because I have the small pan, so I'm doing two times. Okay, and now I'm gonna add this last three pieces inside the pot and uh, continue cook inside the pot. Easy for you. I'm gonna move for you, so you can easy to see. Okay, so now I'm gonna move, remove everything from the pan, and I'm gonna start cook inside a uh, pot. And now we can start as our next ingredient. All the herb and spice, the we separate and earlier, I separate the the big pieces, the herb and spice, because you can pen, uh, piece in tension for your curry. It's a look prettier when you separate the big pieces, the herb. And next, our coconut milk again. Mmm, creamy, as it's creamy. And our chicken stock. Lotus peanuts. Our potato and onion, cut in big chunk. Same when you make your stew. And now I add everything, and now we're gonna have to cover this and allow this to cook 45 minutes until all your chicken is soft and all the curry and coconut milk get inside the chicken. 
Okay, and now after I allow our marshmallow curry cook a uh, medium low heat for 45 minutes. And now look at this. It smells so so good. And now we're ready to seasoning this. So I'm gonna start with our sugar, a palm sugar. As a small palm sugar. Our fish sauce. When you use a fish sauce, try, try, try to use a good quality fish sauce. It's a, a lot different. Tamarind sauce. A little bit of salt. And now I'm gonna give this a good mix. After put all the seasoning inside the, our marshmallow curry, give this a quick taste if you're happy with this. And now I'm gonna give this an, a cover and I, I let this simmer another 15 minutes. After we let all our marshmallow curry cook, and now time ready. Oh, look how pretty! Now I believe all the chicken is gonna be so soft and they're all gonna melt into your mouth. And all the curry and all the coconut milk, they look so yummy now. I can't wait to try this. Wow, I did it to try this. Get your rice ready and now I'm gonna get one piece of the, the chicken thigh. Okay, one potato. Okay, now I'm ready to try this. I'm gonna, oh, look how this chicken is soft and easy to dig it in. Chicken, peanut, I want a little bit of potato too. Okay, and put all the food, spoon of the curry. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. I cannot finish. I cannot. Wow, this, this mushroom curry is very very good. You can taste all the herb and all the spice as everything is tastes good well together. And also you can eat this with um, naan or roti or you can eat it with base too. Or if you uh, like the to eat with the jasmine rice, this will be perfect too. If you like this recipe, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, subscribe and you'll see before the next recipe. Thank you.